We went through a series of difficulties here. Remember when the Moselle Brewery merged with the Dekirch Brewery? Between 2002 and today, we already lost 130 jobs. That's why it's even more inconceivable that the Belgian management now tells us that a company that registers over 5 million euros profit a year will make 63 people from their production site redundant. It's shameful and scandalous. We are here today because the brewery, or the brewery's management, announced a redundancy plan through the media last Thursday. There is a demonstration to protest against the closing of the brewery here in Dekirch. So what they want, first of all, is to close the production site and the logistics. All they want to keep here is the marketing, and they said it was an intention. But as you know, intention can always turn into completion. That's why we want to help the unions as well as all the people who work in Dekirch. That's who we should think about, all these people who could lose their jobs. We have to support them so that the brewery's management understands that we are not going to let them do it. The only thing we want is for the jobs to be guaranteed in Luxembourg, especially in a company that registers a profit of 5 million euros a year. There is no reason to invoke economic reasons to launch a redundancy plan. We are asking InBev to give us our work site back, that they allow us to keep working, to keep producing our beer here in Dekirch. When we see the crowd that has come to support us, it is proof that people want the Dekirch beer to stay here on this site, for it to keep flowing and for it not to be produced in Belgium. If Dekirch doesn't stay Luxembourgish, a lot of people won't drink it anymore, and neither will I. It won't be Dekirch water anymore, so we will see what it tastes like. It depends. You know, I am a beer drinker, and I will keep drinking Dekirch beer, but only if it is brewed in Luxembourg, or else I'll stop drinking Dekirch and choose another make.